Hi, thank you for joining me on day one of the 12 days of Christmas series. Today we are going to be building a snowman. So this is a no-sew sock snowman and it's really quick and easy to make so you can recreate it at home. First thing you'll want to do is take a plain white sock and place it inside of a glass. You don't have to use a glass but I find that it really helps when trying to um, fill the inside of your snowman. I'm going to be using some rice at the bottom of the snowman just to help to um, weigh it down but if you want to make this as a teddy bear you can um, ignore this step or if you want a really durable heavy ornament you could use just rice. So once I've got some rice in the bottom there I'm just pulling the sock up to make sure that the heel is hanging over the edge of the glass so it's out the way and then I'm going to start stuffing the inside of the snowman. You can use um, stuffing that you can buy online or you could use the inside of an old pillow or an old teddy bear that you're going to throw out. So once you've got them nice and full, you just want to slide the top of the sock off the glass and use a clear elastic or some string to seal off the top of your sock. So you want to make sure he's nice and podgy and squishy. Um, you don't want a really skinny snowman, especially because we're going to use some of that filling to create the head and the arms. Yeah. So to create the head, it's really simple. You just take another clear elastic or a piece of string and just define kind of the top third of the snowman as the head area just by squeezing it and tightening the elastic around it. So now we've got that done, I'm just going to take two small sections from each side and again using a clear elastic just to find two small squishy podgy arms. Now if you wanted to, you could use some cocktail sticks um, or anything else that you have at home for the arms, but I think it's quite nice to have the podgy arms. To decorate the face and the body of the snowman, you could use some small pom-poms or some buttons and I'm just showing each of those options here. Yeah. I decided for this snowman that I was going to use a combination of the two. So for the nose, previously I have used a cocktail stick that I've just dyed orange but for this snowman I'm going to use a yellowy orange fluffy pom-pom. So now for the snowman's hat I'm taking another sock. This is actually a man's sock, it's a little bit longer um, which means that I'll have a nice long scarf. So I'm just turning over the cuff of the sock a couple of times to give the effect of kind of the rim of a beanie hat. So now I'm just going to take some scissors and snip off the excess of that white sock at the top. Now you don't need to worry about these small pieces that are left kind of unfinished at the top there because the hat will completely cover that. So taking the stripy sock I'm just pulling that over the snowman so I can figure out how much of the sock I need to cut off to create the right sized hat. So if you just play with that moving it around until you're happy with the position and then you can get an idea of how much of the sock to trim away. So you'll just cut that off and then using once again another clear elastic or a piece of string you can just tie off the top of the hat and then with that excess fabric we're going to cut some vertical snips to create almost like a bobble at the top of the snowman's hat. So I like to leave these a little bit longer, I think it's easier to work with and if you just cut vertical strips all the way down and then holding these tight I just brought in a bowl to catch the excess, hold them up tight and then just snip them off close to where that elastic is and this will create a cute kind of bobble at the top of the snowman's bobble hat. Okay, so I just wanted to show you here how you could use some googly eyes and I considered using these um, for my snowman but I decided to stick with the buttons. So now I'm going to cut the rest of that sock in a somewhat of a straight line down towards the toe. And this will create the long strip of fabric that's needed for the scarf. So I mentioned earlier in the video that this is a man sock for the hat and the scarf portion. That's just because it's a little bit longer and it means that the scarf can be a little bit bigger. There'll be two snowmen shown in the um, picture at the end of this video. One was created using two um, women's socks and one was this one here is created using two men's socks. And you can just see the difference in the size of the scarf. I think I like this one a little bit better. So I'm just rolling that scarf up and stretching it so it creates kind of a tube. It will naturally roll in on itself and hide those cut edges so you don't see them. So now I'm going to place the scarf around the snowman and again just play with that a little bit until I'm happy with the position. And then in order to hold that down in place I'm just going to take a um, small amount of my Tombow Mono glue. 
and I'm just going to use that to hold it in place. Now you could use a um, fabric glue if you have that on hand but the Tombow Mono Glue or just a multi um, purpose wet glue will also work for this. So now our snowman is starting to take shape. Um, I think these guys are really cute. You can make them in all different sizes um, depending on how much stuffing you include and how tall you make them. So I think I might make a snowman family at some point as well. And I think the striped scarves work really well. Sorry, the striped socks work really well to create the scarf and the hat. But you could use any kind of pattern. If you have some Christmas socks, they might work really well. Or even just some plain red socks. So I'm just using a elastic here to hold down the scarf. I just want to hold that in place while the glue dries. Um, usually when I'm doing a paper project, I'd use a um, paperweight or an acrylic block. So the elastic is just serving the same purpose. So again I'm just using the glue to place the button eyes in place and I'm using it for these three kind of buttons across his body and for the pom-pom nose as well. It just takes a couple of seconds for the glue to stick um, to the fabric so if you just hold it in place with your finger then it should be fine. Once I've got all three of the buttons in place, I decided to add some finishing detail to the scarf by again just cutting some vertical slits in the same way that I did with the hat just to create a fringed ending for either side of the scarf. Again, you don't have to do that, but I just think it's a nice finishing touch. So once I had that scarf finished, I decided I wanted to move the placement of it just slightly and I wanted one part of the scarf to be stuck down across the body. So this step again is completely optional, um, I just wanted to make sure that the scarf stayed in place exactly where I wanted it, so I'm just peeling away the elastic that was holding the top part of that scarf in place and I'm stretching the scarf along to where I want it to sit and I'm going to place a small dot of glue underneath and again hold that down with an elastic and once this is dried I can take the elastic away. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial today and um, I do encourage you to make some of these sock snowmen whether they're for yourself as a decoration or whether you want to make some as a gift. I think it might be a really nice gift um, for some family members, maybe you could make um, one snowman to represent each of them and give it as a gift for the family. So if you do make yourself a sock snowman or any of the projects that I'm sharing during this 12 days of Christmas series, I do encourage you to let me know by sharing them with the hashtag CNS 12 days of Christmas. I hope to see you guys back again for day two. Thank you for joining me.